Well, I think the result of that, you know, horrible episode um, and the result of, you know, Iranian behavior that was inexcusable by, you know, uh, any measure. Um, the result of that, of course, was the suffering that a lot of, you know, my colleagues had to go through as well as through their families. And, you know, it left a very bitter legacy, I think, on, on certainly on the American side and contributed to what were then more than three decades of estrangement, um, as well as, you know, an absence of direct communication. Um, and so it's, you know, it's hard for people to forget circumstances like that. They should never forget it. But, you know, we've been able at least to restore uh, direct communication with the participation of, you know, really admirable American diplomats like John Limbert, who worked with me um, in the early phases as we were trying to prepare the ground for what later became the bilateral contacts in 2013. The hostage crisis had a huge impact on the Foreign Service. I remember I was in graduate school at the time because I came into the Foreign Service two or three years later. Um, I remember having great admiration and respect for what my colleagues had gone through. It underscored the sacrifice that diplomats sometimes are required to make. It underscored what was at stake in the Middle East in a period of huge turbulence. Um, you know, we always think that the period in which we're working now is the most turbulent period ever. As you look backwards, you know, 35 years, that was a, quite a turbulent period itself. But it underscored the significance of what American diplomats can do in helping to understand, you know, what's at stake um, in that kind of turbulence and how best to navigate it.